What I want to talk about today in this video is something if you're having a hard time in your sobriety, especially your early sobriety, because let me tell you, in early sobriety, I had a hell of a time. I was a wreck. I was full of resentment. I was full of fear. I, ang I was angry. I'd rage out on people for, for nothing. My emotions were all over the place. Man, oh man, physically I was, I was always sleeping. I had a lot of difficulties. I couldn't handle life on life's terms without drinking. You know, I relied on the alcohol so much and I didn't realize how much I relied on it until I stopped. And let me tell you, there was a truckload, a train load of issues that I need to work on. It was like I was out of control. I don't like to say it like that, but it was true. I was unpredictable. So what I'm gonna say to you is something that is easy to do. It's, no, I shouldn't say it's easy to do. It's easy to understand. You'll get it when I tell you, but you might find it hard to do. But the results of doing it are over the top. And you may not feel the results right off the bat, but I'm gonna tell you something. It's gonna help you 100%, guaranteed. And you're gonna say, you know, Terry G, that's not a big deal. Well, it is a big deal. Because I know when times get tough in recovery, you feel depressed, you feel guilty, you, you react to something in anger, you stress out, you freak out in the kids, whatever it is, it's hard to get to a meeting. It's hard to go there. You know why it's hard to go there? Because of this in between, in the between your ears, the brain. You know, our founder said, the founder said that most of an alcoholic's problem is in his thinking, is in his thinking. And I believe that. I believe that 100%. I really do. So bring you back to early recovery. When I first was in recovery and I was experiencing a lot of difficulty, I just couldn't get a handle on my emotions or on my thinking. I don't know if I heard it in a meeting or heard it somewhere else. I don't know where, where I heard it, but I remember it was almost like it punched me right in the, right in the face. I said, this is what I need to hear. You know, you go to meetings and you're feeling down, you feel out of control and all of a sudden you hear something and it's just kind of, it's, they can say it, they can whisper it, but you hear it loudly. You're like, wow, I really needed to hear that. Does that ever happen to you? Cause it happens to me. It happens to me a lot, especially when I'm a little off kilter. And this was one of those days. The person said, or I read or heard it on tape, whatever. He said this, he said, and I was in therapy at the time. I was going to therapy. He said, therapists believe cognitive therapy, that's very popular right now, change the thinking, change the behavior. He said, cognitive behavior, therapists believe if you change the thinking, change your thinking, your behavior will change. And your behavior is, is basically your life. Our thinking is not our life. Our behavior is our life. The way we act outside of us, right? The way we act around in our environment is really the, 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 uh, the life we, cre we create, right? And they said, if you change your thinking, the behavior will change. Well, my thinking was out of control. I couldn't tame my thinking. My thinking would keep me up all night long, believe it or not you know, revenge or resentment or feeling hurt. Somebody looked at me strange, they don't like me, whatever it was. The program believes, they believe this, and you've heard this before, I know you have. Bring the body and the mind will follow. And I was like, wow, wow. Bring the body and the mind will follow. Both ways are good, right? Cognitive therapy is good, change the thinking, change the behavior. But for me, even to this day, even to this day, bring the body, the mind will follow. Every time I go to a meeting, I feel better. If I go to a meeting and I feel happy and content with my life, I leave that meeting feeling more happy and more content with my life. Believe it or not, it just energizes me all the time. I just feel grounded. It doesn't matter what meetings you go to. It doesn't, smart recovery, NA, AA, it doesn't matter, overeaters, what meeting you go to and what your addiction is. It, that doesn't matter, I don't, I don't promote one 
movement. I don't promote one program. If you have an addiction, and I don't care if you stand on your head and that's the way it goes for you to be better, stand on your head every day. Because I tell you, addiction from alcohol is so destructive, so subtle. Do what you have to do to get sober. And don't worry about what anybody else says, okay? Don't worry about that. So that's what I'm saying for you to do. If, if you have a problem with self-discipline, if you're having a problem with managing yourself or you're thinking or you feel depressed or whatever, just get in the habit of being very practical and just go to a meeting. Go to your support group, sit in that meeting, just continue to do that. My program to this day is very practical. It's very much like that. If I'm happy, sad, glad, stressed, angry, you know, sick, not so well, whatever it is, I go to a meeting because I know that I need to go, but I can think my way out of going to a meeting all the time. Like last night I was saying, you know, oh, it's kind of cold out, it's dark. You know, I have to drive a half an hour to go to a meeting. I don't feel like a meeting. See, I can think my way out of recovery very, very easily. But the old saying is, bring the body and the mind will follow. And I agree with that 100%. It's simplistic, it's an action, but it works. It really does. For an alcoholic of my type, who was very, very disoriented in early recovery, just showing up at a meeting, sitting down, having a coffee, I love going to meetings. I always feel grounded. The people always made me feel welcome. There was a lot of fun, actually. I had fun in meetings, a lot of tears, a lot of anger, a lot of crazy stuff in early recovery from my, myself. But you know something? Bring the body and the mind will follow. You will get a hang of it. You really will, okay? It's simplistic, it's easy, but you know something? A lot of us, a lot of us can think our way out of doing the right thing at the right moment. And the right thing at the right moment always is go to a meeting, no matter what. Go to a meeting. Keep going to the meetings. Don't stop. Keep going, okay? My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. You can take a second, please subscribe, and take another second and hit that like button. But just remember this. I want you to remember this, okay? Freedom is sobriety. Getting sober from the use and abuse of alcohol is freedom. Get rid of the shackles of addiction and join us in the journey to the top, okay? <laughs> I'm having a great time today. I feel really good. I just got over a bad cold and I feel really terrific, okay? Thanks a lot. Don't forget to subscribe. See you later. Bye.